Unlike traditional surgery, which requires large incisions, robotic surgery enables doctors to perform operations with smaller cuts, reduced pain and less scarring. It allows surgeons to maneuver instruments in a way that human hands cannot and decreases chances of complications as visualization is better. Operation time is further reduced and recovery time is quicker. Surgeons say the machine gives better access to small and hard to reach places. It will allow us to be a lot more precise because you know the human eye has its limits but with this camera system it allows you to zoom in. It is also an angulated camera so it will allow you to look behind structures and it will allow you vision in much um, uh, smaller places. Professor Fredit Larsen has praised this latest technological advancement and says they received training on how to use the machine in Dubai. He says difficult surgeries are made easier by the advanced machine. What the huge or big advantage for me is you can sit down in a, in a nice economic correct position and your arms are rested on the console and surgery or, or surgeon fatigue is much less if we compare it to open surgery or laparoscopic surgery. And uh, you can also, because of the magnification, you can see where the, the nerves are. You can do better suturing. Um, if I compare this now with open surgery, which I'm familiar with, the suturing, especially when we, after we remove the, 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 the prostate to connect the bladder and the urethra, it's, it's much more difficult with open surgery. With this one, we can do it much better, watertight. The Free State Department of Health says it's working towards procuring machines that can be placed in various facilities. Currently, the province has one machine in University's Academic Hospital. The department wants to move to an era where doctors can work remotely and a patient can be operated on while the specialist is sitting on another town. The issue of orthopedic patients, the problem of the implants that had made us to have a long list, they have been addressed, including in the Tumelo Hospital where we had a long list. The operations were started to be done last week and the number is greatly reduced now. The Free State University says it is revolutionizing how it trains the next generation of medical practitioners. Nanzogolostemmer, SABC News, Bloemfontein.